All right, here we go, guys. Back again. This time, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about ankle mobility. So we've had a couple patients this week uh, dealing with plantar fascia pain, so sole of the foot pain. Also had a patient earlier in the week who was having a lot of trouble getting to full depth with his squat, and he's finding that that's more, we found that that was more or less due to limitations in ankle mobility, so he was not able to get to parallel. So today we're gonna to show you two exercises with a couple little variations along the way of ways you can do this ex these exercises to help you get some relief from tension through the Achilles complex, so gastroc, soleus, Achilles, and then also to get um, movement through the ankle joint uh, itself. So I'm gonna ask Nicole to come in. First exercise we're gonna do is called the three position stretch. It's a really simple exercise. I think everyone's kind of seen this exercise before where you kind of bring one foot back lean forward just a little bit, keeping this knee straight, keeping the heel on the floor. Nicole's gonna feel this kind of stretching through the, the uh, gastroc soleus and then also through the Achilles. So I'll have Nicole hold that for know, around 15 seconds. Again, soft 15 seconds, depends on how she's feeling. After she's done that, I'm gonna have Nicole turn her heel out. Good, so now she's gonna feel the stretch. As the heel moves away from the midline, she's gonna feel more of a stretch on the medial head of the gastroc, so the inside part. So the gastrocnemius is made up of two muscles, basically. It's the inner head and the outer head, so medial and lateral. We wanna make sure that we can stretch both. So again, I'll have her hold that for about 15 seconds. And then I'm gonna have her turn her heel towards the inside. We wanna make sure that we keep that knee nice and straight here as she leans forward. Now she should feel a stretch on the lateral head of the gastroc. So this way it allows you to effectively stretch both of those heads separately. All right, after she's done that for about 15 seconds, I'm gonna have her come back to the middle. Good, now she's gonna bend her knee, flex that knee slightly. She'll feel the stretch translate a little bit farther down her leg, because now we're stretching more of the soleus. Bending the knee puts slack in the gastroc, so there's not as much tension there, and we're gonna get more tension in the soleus. So, with this exercise, you can take a break there for a second, Nicole. With this exercise, I like to think of the, um, the foot being the hands of a clock. So 12 o'clock is gonna be close to the wall, six o'clock is gonna be um, at the, the, the heel of the foot. When we turn the foot in and out, think about turning the heel to about five o'clock and then again to about seven o'clock. So you don't wanna be at three o'clock and nine o'clock. You wanna make sure you're just a slight turn with that heel, okay? So that's something you can do at home, great. Now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Nicole go into that same kind of runner stretch. She'll feel that tension through here. We have a couple different tricks that we can kind of throw at it while you're in the office. The first one is to use our Hyperbolt. Uh, it's a vibration, uh, vibratory massage tool. So basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on. We're gonna work through the calf here, so through the gastroc and soleus. Not so much in the Achilles, but more in the gastroc and soleus. So essentially we're just gonna vibrate through that muscle. So while Nicole is stretching, we can give some sensation to the muscle so that it can calm down further. It's like a deep massage, kind of working through that muscle. So again, we can do this while she's doing all of those positions. So as she turns her leg out, we can do the same thing. Now I'm gonna focus more on the medial head here because that's where we're stretching. So we'll work through there. Nicole doesn't mind this at all. It's not uncomfortable, is it, Nicole? No. I told her she had to say that just for the record. Good, and now we'll have her turn her heel to the inside. Good, same thing here, work through that muscle. So we tend to get a little more bang for our buck when we add some of the vibration therapy to it as well. Okay, I'll have Nicole go back to the middle. And the next one we can do is we can use instrument assisted soft tissue. So this is commonly referred to as Graston technique because they were one of the um, original pioneers but essentially what we're gonna do is use a little bit of coconut oil on Nicole's calf. And then from here, we're gonna use the simple metal tool to work through the calf while Nicole is stretching it. So what we're doing more than anything is sending non-threatening stimuli to the brain so that the brain learns to calm this area down. So again, work through this area just to kind of stretch it out while we do this instrument assisted technique. So again, we can do that for about 30 seconds, just like we would have before. It's a really simple technique, really easy to do. We can do it when you're not stretching, but it's also really, really helpful when you are stretching. 
So the next one we're gonna do is an ankle mobility drill. So I'll have Nicole kneel here. We call this a half kneeling position. So she's gonna put her leg forward. You'll notice that her hip is 90 degrees, her knee is 90 degrees, her ankle's obviously at 90 degrees. She's gonna take this dowel. We're gonna place it just outside her toe, good. I wanna make sure that her knee travels outside of the dowel. She's gonna keep this heel on the floor. While that heel's on the floor, she's gonna to work to kind of pump her leg forward and back. She's not holding it for any length of time, just trying to get as much movement out of that ankle as possible. The key here is making sure that we travel to the outside, right? We wanna make sure that we're getting that range of motion in the most limited area, which is typically to the outside, okay? So these are two wonderful exercises that you can use to help to work on ankle mobility, which will help your squat, but also help plantar fascia pain. So if you get a chance, give these a shot. Let us know what you think. Uh, if there's something we can do to help answer questions, whatever you need, you just let us know, all right? Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate you paying attention to these videos and I appreciate the feedback that we've been getting. So if you have any questions in the future, just shoot us an email, give us a call, whatever works best for you. Thanks again and have a great day.